Get the worksheet used in this lesson, as well as hundreds of others, at mathcation.com. In this video, we're going to work on some of our practice problems from our line of best fit worksheet. Let's jump right in. Looking at number one, our directions say, write the equation of the line of best fit in slope-intercept form for each scatter plot. In order to do this, the first thing we need to understand is that we're talking about slope-intercept form. And our line of best fit has to be written in that form. Slope intercept form is equal to y equals mx plus b. Typically, this is the most common way you will see linear equations written. In the case of slope intercept form, m is equal to the slope and b is equal to the y intercept or where it crosses the y axis. So if we look at number one, number one has a scatter plot drawn and it also has a line of best fit already drawn through the scatter plot. If you look, the easiest thing to identify is the y-intercept. That's because all you have to do is see where the line crosses the y-axis. This vertical line here of course is the y-axis and our line of best fit crosses the y-axis right there which is at 8. We already know our y-intercept, which is 8. The next thing we have to find is our slope. Slope is equal to the rise divided by the run. So in order to find the rise divided by the run, we have to find two points that are exactly on the line that intersect the grid perfectly. So if we look, we already have our first point, which is our y-intercept, so it's already there. Then if you look really closely at our line, you will see that you can pick points that cross the grid perfectly, or where our line intersects the grid of the actual graph. So all these points actually intersect the line and the grid, so right here. Then the next thing you need to do is you need to find the rise and the run. So what we're going to do is we're going to go from one point to the next. So we're just going to draw lines and we'll just do a couple there. So what we do is we count how much we rise or drop and how much we go over. So if we go down to, so this is negative two because we're going down to, and if you look at each step, each step is exactly the same down to. So this negative 2, or this up and down motion, is our rise. So we know our rise is negative 2. Then we have to find the run, or how much we go over by. In the case of this example, we go over 1 here. Then we go over 1 here. Then we go over 1 here. So our run is going to be 1. And then if you simplify this, negative 2 divided by 1 is just negative 2. So our slope is negative 2. Then the last step is that you have to take each part, which is slope and y-intercept, and you have to substitute it back into slope-intercept form. So we know that our slope is negative 2, so we will substitute in negative 2 for m. And then we know that y-intercept is 8, so we will substitute in 8 for the y-intercept. So our equation in slope-intercept form for this line of best fit is y equals negative 2x plus 8. If you found this video helpful, make sure you drop a like, subscribe to our channel, or check out our website for more premium math content. Thanks for watching.